Good morning. It's been so long since I've talked to. Oh wow. It's been a long time since I talked to you guys, but I am back. Took a little break for myself to uh, focus on like some more personal things. Just started a job recently. Started back going to school. So I've been trying to allocate, you know, my time to get those things, you know, kind of started up and figure out how this whole time management thing is going to go. Right now I'm headed to work and I figure why not pop in, say hi, catch you guys up on what's been going on. So I've been working hard like these last couple days. I didn't really realize how hard it was going to be to balance work, the vlog, the vlog, and school. I'm already like behind on a few assignments. I don't have all my books yet. I'm like about to get late to work. But I've been I've been doing good though. Like I haven't really fucked up too bad just yet. And I think as I continue to do this, I'm gonna like get so much better at you know managing my time. Recently, like this morning, I've been working on like rebranding my website. So just making it look a little more professional. Um, same with YouTube. I wanna have like better thumbnails, more planned out vlogs, and more of like a a plot or a theme, you know, every day. So we're gonna work towards that. And yeah, I'm just super excited to jump back in. Initially, I had a lot of time on my hands. And like, I would vlog, and I wouldn't vlog, and I would vlog. And I could never figure out like what parts of the vlog to put in. And it was just like really stressful and strenuous. But now because I only have a certain amount of time to talk to you guys, you know, popping here, popping there, take photos here, take photos there, I feel like I'll take more advantage of that time and it'll be just a little more like streamlined. So headed to work right now and I'm gonna talk to you guys when I get off. I feel like I picked the worst day to vlog. It's so hot outside. you guys can see I made it to the school now a lot of people have asked me like oh what made you go back to school do you feel like you're starting your life over or that you like failed or you know whatever the question may have been and the answer is no I'm actually going back to school because it's a free education and I don't see anything wrong with taking advantage of that I don't plan like I'm getting any degree or staying here for four years or two years or whatever I'm just going to take some classes that interest me and to motivate myself to learn things that I normally wouldn't Google. So right now I'm doing like psychology, I'm doing philosophy, and I'm doing like a marketing class. And these are just like, for me, they're kind of like trades. Take these, you know, get some information and utilize it. Also, there's a slight chance that I can meet, you know, like-minded people and things like that. So that's definitely my, my main reason for going here. I'm a firm believer that going to school for like a four year degree in business and opening up your own business and stuff, that's just like mad counterproductive. But that's just my opinion. So yeah, anyway, I'm here to grab my books. Um, hopefully they don't give me a hard time. Then I'm one book away from having all four books. So let's go do that. Shout out to this bookstore having like Mindy Kalen on deck. I read her books, believe it or not. Also, my homie Aziz. They know what's going on here. They know right, so that was super quick and easy. Got my book. Now it's time to go read. Not happy about that at all. Anyway guys, I feel like we have so much catching up to do. Like it's really been like a week or two since I vlogged. And I just want to tell you what I've been going through. And uh, you know, the conclusions that I came up with. And a part of me wants to talk about it right now. And while that's on my mind, but at the same time, I feel like a more controlled environment will better suit the conversation. So I'm going to wait until I get home, which I'm headed there now. And uh, this is my third time saying this, but I'll be back. So I was walking to my car and then on the way there, I looked across the street and saw the Salvation Army and I figured, why not stop in here and see what they got? Right now, I'm actually uh, working on a blog post and it's like five ways to make money as a freelancer, but how to make money like without doing freelancing jobs. So pretty much how to make money on the side. And, sorry, this is one of them. Um, I'm a firm believer in going into like Salvation Armies or thrift stores and finding goods to resell online. Uh, this started when I found that lens, a vintage lens for $7. It was a Tamron 90 and I think I resold it for like 110 bucks and now 
I just kind of continue to do that. So I never like go out the way to go inside them. I always just pop in when they're nearby. And if I see anything worthwhile, I'll test it out. So if you can get some for three or four bucks and you know sell it for four or five times that, then it's worth it. So I'm gonna look around and see if they have any vintage cameras. I'm actually looking for a film camera, so this may work out for me. Wow, these paintings are dope. If you ever need like any paintings or inspiration or photography books, it's also a good place too. So if I see anything, I'll show you guys. All right, so I don't see any cameras. There's a couple like monitors and some A-track players. Um, what I've known from coming here is that a lot of the times the cameras are up front, um, like a glass display or you know somewhere near the jury. So I'm gonna go find that and let's see if we get lucky with anything. I just film my, my every day. You guys have a yeah, camera? every day. Yep. <laughs> like me camera walking around. Camera. Yeah, you have any cameras? Um, oh, okay. okay. Thank you. Alright, so I was right. They do have the cameras on display. Unfortunately, I don't know anything about these. Yeah, do you mind if I see a couple of the... Uh, the film ones. Maybe I can find something today. I see a Rico back there. I don't know. It's not a GR. So. This guy just might have stole something. Yeah, some guy just stole something. That sucks. Don't be that guy. Just the, the first three in the back. I, I just gotta, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right guys, so I did kind of snuck a little cool Rico camera. It was a, like a super zoom or a zoom shot or a zoom master. And it was, it was pretty cool. I think it was like $10 and I thought about getting it. I was like, oh, I can just get this and I can utilize this until I get like a K1000 or whatever film camera I decide to get. But I thought about it like, ah, oh, there's no point in just buying this camera because it's cheap. Then I'm just gonna have like a shit ton of cameras. I already have like a super cheap uh, Canon Sure Shot coming in that I'm probably only gonna use for a few days. So I put it back. Um, in terms of like resale value, like, I could have got like 15 bucks for it on eBay, but after shipping and fees, I'm not really making any money. So always, you know, factor that in shipping fees. All right, so you need to make at least like three or four times what you're paying in order for it to be like lucrative. So, yeah, good, good, good job on my part. If they had like a, a manual camera, then I probably would have just grabbed it. But I'm not really interested in getting like an autofocus zoom film camera. That's just defeats the purpose of getting one. So still on a hunt for that. Um, I'm talking about film. I didn't tell you guys that I plan on shooting film for the rest of the year. So again, we'll talk about more of that later. About to get in the car now, uh, get this car back to Erica, get her some lunch, and yeah, I'll be home shortly. So I just got home and I was freaking out a bit because I thought I was late for the Apple event. It's like 1.07 maybe? So for the last 45 minutes, I've been refreshing my TV screen and I realized that the Apple event's tomorrow. This is a film camera. You guys seen me earlier today looking at different film cameras and 
I'm excited to say that this one just came in the mail today. I paid a dollar ninety nine for this. It's probably not the best film camera. I know it's not the best film camera. Anyway, me and my friend Chris, we put together a little challenge that we're gonna do. It's called the Bruce Gilden Challenge. We're gonna take shitty cameras, not that Bruce Gilden used a shitty camera, and go out on the street and blind people with street portraits and on camera flash and see who comes out with the best photos. Now, you guys know I'm gonna win and I'll keep you updated on when that's gonna be posted. For now, this little thing needs a battery. How do you work this? Open. Uh, looks good. I have no idea how to use film cameras. Before I start studying, I want to talk to you guys. This is the part of the vlog where I want to call it quits. Every day, believe it or not, I vlog. And around this time, I realize that the vlog's not that good and my day's not getting any better. Um, my issue is that my life's not that exciting. And I watch too many vlogs, people have been vlogging for years. So Casey has a booster board. Lucy has a booster board, John has a skateboard, people have all these cool means of traveling, Lily has friends, like it's just crazy and the fact that I'm not able to create that level of high quality content bothers me, so when I get to the end of my vlog and I'm like, well I went to four different places and I bounced around and talked with no transitions, then I don't want to upload it, but today I told myself that I'm going to upload this no matter what, no matter how bad it is, no matter how much I talk, no matter how dull my day is, I'm going to upload this and I'm going to do this for the rest of the week. I'm going to do the rest of the month. This is going to be a daily vlog no matter how long it is because I need it for my own stimulation. I can't do it for you guys. You guys are asking me to do it for you. I'm doing this. And I know I've said this a million times, but today has to be that day. This time has to be that time. So, yeah, that's what's going to happen. It's grind time. It's time to be better. <laughs> Not great yet. I didn't say great. Remember to get the model, guys. Done is better than great. So we're going to keep pushing, we're going to keep grinding, and we're going to see this thing become better over time. So thanks for sticking with me. Sorry I don't have a quote for the day, but I got to get a study in, and I will check you guys tomorrow. Peace.